Welcome, you're watching the strip store on Dan and we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Last week I decided to think pink without diving in head first into this Barbenheimer battle, Bobby vs. Oppenheimer on the big screen, which has been nothing sort of a blessing for movie theaters across America and around the world. This week, I'm diving into the other side of the Barbenheimer war, without actually thinking like the scientist of record being portrayed on IMAX in that Christopher Nolan movie. So I would love to have the mind of that certain physicist who helped develop the atomic bomb, but I don't have the mental capacity to think like that just yet. Plus, I'm pretty sure developing something like that would be an act of terrorism around here now. So I decided to think along the lines of another scientist, way more family friendly, if you want to call him a scientist at all, Sid the Science Kid. See what you will about him now, but I happen to enjoy watching him before school every morning when I was set up. So much so, I have the first of two Sid the Science Kid books on deck to review right now. It's a level one I can read book called The Trouble with Germs, based upon the Jim Henson Company KCET TV show for PBS Kids. I got it for half off 99 cents. That would be 44 cents. Which is like a few cents less. Then how this book was originally priced, 50 cents, which is still a mighty good bargain. Anyway, for I Can Read books, we have here by first and then levels ranging from 1 to 4. With varying degrees of difficulty, none of them extremely difficult in terms of vocabulary, sentences, and plots, and characters, and even an introduction to chapter books. All to get your up-and-coming readers excited about reading. Anyway... The format for Sid, Sid the Science Kid goes a little something like this if you've seen the early episodes. Sid has a question. Today's question, why do we have to wash our hands? That question stems from his dad having a cold. So, his mom decides to look at some images on the computer that tries to prove her and Sid's point. These are germs, and we have to wash our hands to get rid of those germs. After a ride to school and meeting up with his friends, Anyone remember that song, I'm looking for my friends, I'm looking for you? He decides to take the SID survey on why we need to wash our hands. And do we know what gems are? Asking his pals, me, Gerald, and I'm not gonna kid you here. My seven, my seven, eight-year-old crust. My cartoon crust at the time, Gabriella. <laughs> my school two brethren used to tease me all the time saying, If I'm dating Gabriella, where's Gerald? Is she like the third wheel? No, 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 no. May would be my third if I was seven or eight years old. <laughs> anyway, after the said survey, it's off to Teacher Susie's classroom, where they discuss more about the topic at hand, and then conduct an experiment in the Super Fab Lab. Ah, oh, yeah. Those are always fun experiments. This experiment, digging her hands into a tub of dirt, and seeing how dirty their hands are. A reminder why they need to wash their hands to get rid of that dirt. They journal about it in their journals. This skips the good laughter noon, at least until the back, with some good laughter noon jokes. A pretend scene, seating with teacher Susie and grandma's story on the back seat drive home. So here we have Sid finding out why he needs to wash his hands. And that's that. So, in a fairly prolongated summary, that's how early episodes of Sid the Science Kid worked. And now for some germ jokes. What's the worst thing about being an octopus? Washing your hands before dinner. What do you get when you take a germ, and another germ, and another, and another? A cold, at two. Not funny. And knock knock, who's there? At, at two? Bless you. Yeah. That's a decent one, buddy. In any event, Sid's dad has a cold. He is sneezing. His nose is ruddy, but how come Sid has to keep washing his hands if his dad is the one who's sick? Well, for anyone who survived the COVID pandemic, you'll have no trouble absorbing that message and answering that question. Because if you don't, you could have some big trouble on your hands. Yeah. It does enough. Five out of five claps. I mean, it's a level five book as far as I'm concerned. Say what you will about Sid the Science Kid and his grounded videos on YouTube, of which I don't like much at all. Say for a few ones that are actually exceptionally crafted. But I refuse to wash my hands of this future scientist. Besides, I don't have any more Bill Nye or Beekman's World DVDs or books to sell ya, and Beekman's my favorite. 
Bill Nye's my second favorite, said the science kid. Uh... Level 3. If you have lots and lots of questions about that particular TV scientist ranking, let me know. And I'll see you soon, scientists. Thanks for watching. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.